Card number 20. Card number 20. Wow, look at this artwork. Look at this artwork. The Permendix plot. Look at this. Just beautiful. Wow. I wonder where all these original art pieces are. I would pay an arm and a leg for these. Wow. Not an arm and a leg, but I would pay a pretty hefty price for these. Look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's see what the text if the text has changed or not. Oh, somebody's doing yard work. Let's check it out. 1967 starts the same. We got a break here. Shaw was director and linked to CIA. Let's see if we can find that. This looks different. This looks different, gang. We're gonna read the revised version. Even ends differently. Okay, gang. We're gonna read the revised version because it's more up to date. Okay. Because this is about information. We wanna learn as much as we can, right? So we go with the revised version. Card number 20. The Clay Shaw. Or not the Clay Shaw, or Clay Shaw. Right? The Pen Permendex plot. Clay Shaw. In 1967, New Orleans District Attorney Jim Garrison arrested New Orleans businessman Clay Shaw for conspiring with Oswald and the recently deceased David Ferry to kill J John, Ken John Kennedy. The ensuing scandal laid bare Shaw's close, closest closeted homosexuality, but although Garrison convinced the jury that Kennedy was the victim of a conspiracy he failed to prove that Shaw was involved with Oswald or Ferry or that he was linked to the CIA Shaw was director of New Orleans's International Trade Mart a subsidiary of the Rome-based Central Mondale uh, Commer Commercial CMC was in turn linked to Perman Permandex, a company which French intelligence agents said funneled two hundred thousand dollars to the French secret army organization from nineteen sixty two coup attempt attempt against Charles de Gaulle. Allegedly, both Shaw and Schlumberger Corp. President. John de Menel sat on the board of Permadex. Per Permandex. Garrison's case hinged on proving Shaw used the alias Clay Bertrand, in quotes. In 1964, New Orleans lawyer Dean Andrews told the Warren Commission that on November 23, 1963, one Clay Bertrand asked him to represent Oswald, who had earlier visited Andrews, Andrews' office in the company of some Latin gay kids, in quotes. Along with names of the prominent European fascists, Shaw's address book contained the listing, quote, Lee Odom, P.O. Box, 
19106 Dallas, Texas, end quote. Oswald's address book contained the same P.O. box number with no name attached, but Andrews, who also represented Mafia boss Carlos Mancillo, refused to diverge uh, Bertrand's identity, saying it would be, quote, Bon Voyage Dino, end quote, if he did. In 1977, at least one of Garrison's claims was vindicated when a CIA document surfaced showing that Shaw, a former OSS colonel, had indeed had a long history with the CIA. Wow, wow, wow. Clay Shaw. Clay Shaw. Schlumberger pops up a lot, eh? 